you know, when I look at this, it's that bit of hope. Computer-generated images of a killer who's eluded um, investigators for decades, a face created with the help of the suspect's DNA. We may be one step closer to identifying their killer. In 1987, Tanya Van Kylenberg and her 21-year-old boyfriend, Jay Cook, left Victoria, B.C. for what should have been a quick trip to Washington State when they disappeared. Their bodies were discovered a week later. Someone out there knows something. This person could have talked or bragged about these events in November of 1987. The police found the suspect's DNA at the crime scene and compared it to profiles on databases in the U.S. and in Canada, but never got a match. Now new technology is allowing them to use that DNA to predict just what the killer could look like. Parabon Nanolabs. DNA phenotyping was used to try and determine the suspect's physical traits, like ancestry, eye and hair color. The images show what he might have looked like as he aged. It's just really remarkable. Um, DNA really was a new science back when this happened. Back then, Sergeant Jennifer Sheehan Lee was part of the search and rescue team. These pictures give her hope, but investigators caution these images are not photos, just predictions. There's a good foundation there, but we also need to keep in mind that there's a lot of uh, smaller features that really could be very different because it's 30 years ago. The technology can't predict age or weight, nor take into account facial hair and scars. But the images feel real enough that Jay Cook's family isn't ready yet to look at them. Because that could be the likeness of the person that killed my brother. That's tough even after all these years. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Everett, Washington.